Well, looks like it's time, so let's go. Hello! I am scrambling to get ready to stream, as I'm always doing. But hello, hello. Uh, I'm doing something slightly different than usual, but basically the same as usual, still resin stuff. Um, so we are gonna make a set of dice tonight, but we're also gonna make a little, a little resin tray. Ah, <laughs> piece of feather just got on there. That's what I spent the last five minutes doing was trying to get. Hi, strings of fate. How you doing? Yeah, that's what I did the last. Spent the last. Uh, Five minutes doing. I was trying to get all of the errant cat hair and random pieces of glitter out of this tray mold. It's it's a losing battle. It's a losing battle. But we'll uh, we'll make it work. It's fine. Um, so I really have two things that I want to work on. So I have the tray that I want to work on, and then I have a set of dice, uh, a set of fate dice. So those are the ones with the the pluses and the minuses that I'm going to make. Both of these are our commission things. Um, this one is going to have green resin and then a bunch of like plants and stuff in it. I'm still kind of deciding on what color green I want. I have like three different good greens. I'm kind of thinking, ah, the one I just dropped. I'm kind of thinking that one. I feel like, I'll just sit them down. I feel like that's a good middle one. It's not too dark. I'm like, this one is more foresty, and we're going for kind of foresty dice, but I don't know, I like the brighter green better, I think. The more vibrant. Um, so I think we're going to go with that one, maybe. But maybe add a little bit of the darker green. Because we want contrast in this anyways, we're going to do like a... Oh, you're good! Um... Uh, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe somewhere in between these two. Because I, I don't want it super dark, because I want to be able to see what's on the inside, but we want a lot of contrast between the dice themselves and then the numbers. So we're going to do light numbers so that we can see them on the dark dice. But I think maybe mostly this middle green for that. And I'll need to pull out a whole bunch of plants and stuff for that. I haven't even done that yet. Um, like I said, I was trying to clean out the, uh, the tray mold here. Um, so the tray mold... Tray, tray, tray mold. The tray that I'm making. So I really just have the two things. I'm thinking I'm going to try and see if I can do two part resin in this. Um, like, it works fine with UV resin because I can cure it really quick so it doesn't leak everywhere. But I'm, I'm wondering if I can get it to work with the two part resin. If I just make sure I have a good enough seal along the back. We're going to see. We're going to see. I want to do a, 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 a test. Hi, Drabo! Oh. How are you doing? Mmm, yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing glitter with it, though. I'm doing a bunch of moss and plants and things, so I think the, uh... Oh, gr glad to hear it. I'm doing a bunch of moss and things, so I think the medium green, it'll be easier to see. I think it'll be easier to see the moss and things with the medium green. Um, alright, yeah, the, um, the tray... The tray that we're gonna make... It's actually to match a commission from a while ago. Um, here I have a... See if it'll focus on it. Just to match a set of dice that I did a long, a long while ago. Um, that have like... Oh! Thanks for following, Fragilities! Yes, yeah, so we're, we're gonna... We're gonna make a tray to match this. Um... And so, I've got all my stuff here. I've got, I've got a lot of things to kind of set up for this, but some of this, like, stuff that I'd normally just set up before pouring the resin, we're going to do afterwards. Namely, adding in the foil and the glitter, because I'm going to mix all my, my resin up, and then uh, pour a little bit of... <laughs> you want that die? Um, I, do, I do like some good black and gold... Like, it's always just, like, good combo black and gold. Um, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna pour off the resin that we need for the green dice, and then the rest of this is gonna go into this mold. Because this takes almost a full cup, a full one of these containers of resin to do. So, I, I am gonna do it in two parts, because I want to do this layer with the chains and the petri and everything, and then I'm gonna do, like, a layer of black as the bottom. 
Um, but those, let's see, for those dice, they had, like, it had some rent, some bits of chain in them. And I have the same chain here. And so my thought is to kind of, I'm going to kind of run the chain across it a little bit. Um, I was actually going to hang it off the edge so that I'll, and then I'll clip it close before I add the next layer of resin. Um, that way it doesn't end up in the sides and stuff because I don't really want it there. Uh, but let's, let me just clip these. If I can, if I can actually get it in there just a second. And then the nice thing was that, uh, that set of dice also had, oh man, if these wire cutters work. If it wants to work, come on. This is a stronger chain than I was thinking it was. I might have some wire clippers somewhere. I have wire cutters right behind me. I'm going to use those instead. They're straight up <laughs> wire clippers over here. Let's use those. Where was I? Right in here. Yeah, that went a lot easier. The wire cutters on those don't work great. These must work though. Um, but the dice had little bits of like ruin chain and stuff in them too, so we will we will use these little bits that I'm cutting in the tray as well. So it works out. Alright. So I'm thinking we're gonna do kind of like I don't want them to be like at exactly the same angle. I want it to look kind of random. Um, like just a little bit like like they've kind of fallen here as opposed to they were placed here even though I'm obviously placing them here. That's kind of the, the vibe I'm going for though. Is I want them to look like they fell here. All, all uneven and everything. Uh, let me think about this. Yeah, I want these to kind of go in the same direction I think. Kind of like that. And I'll take another one, and I'm, I don't know, maybe like that. Because I don't really want them to all come from the same point. So let me move this up a little bit. I want it to be uneven. That's really what I'm going for, something uneven. So maybe kind of like that, with the little bits of broken chain sprinkled in there. And not the random cat hair that's sprinkled in there at the moment. There's all these random cat hair sprinkled in there. So what's everybody up to tonight? Anything uh, anything fun? Doing any arts and crafts of your own? Or playing any games? That's what I... I mean, I, I, I tend to like... I don't watch a lot of streams, but usually I'm working on something else while I watch streams. But also, like, I don't know, I, I, like, I always have to have something on in the background. That's just how my brain operates, I guess. Ooh, about to die another dice bag. That sounds cool. So do you do, do you do a lot of textile stuff? I must say, I've not done a lot of textile stuff myself. I'd like to like start making my own clothes and stuff just because I think it'd be fun to make weird clothes. But I know I know so little about textiles. I'm always impressed with people who can sew and do crochet and knit and any of that sort of stuff. Come on. Usually knitting for you, but you came back to see. Oh, sewing and dyeing fabric. Just chilling. Set set for Sunday for your D and D homebrew character full orc paladin oath the grim hunt. I don't know that oath, but that sounds really cool. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, maybe kind of like. Although then those are kind of parallel. Yeah, yeah. I fi I figured it out. Figured it out. From context clues. Hmm. Does that look better like that? Kinda. I feel like it kinda looks better like that, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna cut some little lengths of wire too and put those in there. Put those in here as well. Let's 
start in just a second. I'm trying to get this. There we go. I was trying to keep it so it was all one length. So most of these I've been cutting in half just because that's easier. But I wanted one that was a, like a full length that was broken. Uh, let's see. It's homebrew that specializes in dealing with anything unholy, fiend, undead, aberrations, and monstrosities. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. I, uh, I don't know. I, I always like homebrew stuff. That's the stuff that I always... This stuff's just fun, I feel like. Homebrew stuff's just fun. I'm gonna grab a couple of these slightly larger, uh, um, O-rings? Is that what they're called? Oh my gosh, I just blinked. Let's just grab, like, three, I think. I'm gonna kind of open them up a bit and make them look less nice. Less nice than they actually are, because they're actually pretty good. That'll be a good use of these, this pair of pliers. Just kind of open that. Like I said, I kind of want to make it look like there's some broken, broken pieces in here. I don't know. I definitely need some more stuff. This is almost a little, there's, I don't know, I need some more stuff in here. I'm going to do some more. Oh yeah, there is a Discord here. I'll, uh, I'll link it. There you go. Yeah, feel free to send that. There's a channel for D&D &D stuff, so that'd be a, a perfect spot for it over there. If I can cut this, if I can cut this, that'd be nice. Yeah, so the stuff that I really need to set up for what we're doing is this. Getting all these chains figured out. And then I need to find all the plants that I want to use for the uh, set of fate dice. Um, I have a, bunch, a, a container of a bunch of random little plants that, that I'll use, but... Hmm, I'm trying to make this so that it's like, you can see what it is, but it's not like super lined up with everything else. Let's get the random cat hair out of there, because there's always random cat hair. Yeah, no rush or anything, but yeah, if you want to show it off, then that's a, that's a good place to do it. Oh, I was like, why is her? Sorry, I, um, click, I have a, a, the thing I'm streaming from, and then I have Twitch open, and I was like, why is there lag? It's because I was looking at Twitch and not the thing I'm streaming from. Um, okay. Yes. I, think I feel like this could use... You know, I think this might be okay. We're gonna add some gold foil as well. Um, oh, hey, Bosun! Speaking of... Speaking of the, the tray that I'm making. Um, no, show off whatever you want in there. It's pretty chill. People are, all, people are always excited about seeing, uh, D and D character stuff. That feeling when you forgot to sew the velcro in. Oh no! How much trouble is it going to be to uh, to take it apart and add it? That sounds not fun. Ah, but how are you doing, Bosun? You can you can see what I'm working on here. See what I'm working on. Oh none. Oh thank goodness. Thank goodness. Easy fix. Move that apart a little bit. I think maybe do this. Just have to do that before. Oh, I'll do it before dyeing the fabric. So do you dye the Velcro as well, or why does it matter that you do it before you dye the fabric? I don't know. So I'm just, I'm just curious. Hmm. Hmm. I worry that these all kind of look like they're coming from the same point, and I don't know if I like that or not. But if I do this the other direction... Okay, so all the thread is... That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Hey, Jen! <laughs> Rejoice Citizens work kept me over time, and I am still released yet. Oh, gosh. Hope everybody's alright over there, Bosun. Makes the bag look a little nicer. That's fair. Have you ever thought of doing like, um, like dyeing the fabric and then doing like a contrast, contrasting thread? 
Cause, oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing okay, Bosun. You'll be listening in your car to your home. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll chat with you in a bit, Jen. Drive safe. Um. Oh, yeah. Have you ever thought of, like, like, um, thought about it? Haven't tried it yet? That's fair. That's fair. That might be cool, though. Might be cool. Um. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to decide. I like the three, because I feel like three is always kind of a good number. I want them to just be different angles and stuff, but I, so if I do it this way, this one and this one end up being this kind of the same angle. If I do it this way, it kind of looks like they're all coming from the same point, which I don't know. I think I like them all coming from the same point more than I like this one and this one being the same. So I think maybe kind of like this. But since you are here, Bosun, you're welcome to chime in. Um, if you have a preference. Uh, yeah. So I think that'll I think that'll work out. And I was thinking of adding a few more of the broken chains and bits and stuff. But honestly, I think we might be okay because we're gonna add some gold foil and stuff too. So I don't think it needs too much more of this. It'll get a little bit lost in the gold foil anyways. So let me put this away. And um, like I was saying before, this is going to be done in kind of two two separate pours. Well, I'm I'm going to repeat my... Here, I'll tell you my plan, Bosun, now that, now that I, uh, ha I'm actually making it. My plan was to do the clear resin with a little bit of gold shimmer and the gold foil. Uh, and do that, and then I was going to try and petri just the, like, edges, and then I'm going to let that cure, and then I'm going to do another layer of just black. So hopefully the chains and stuff will, and all those little bits will stick out, and then there'll be a petri along the sides. Like, kind of coming up from just the sides. That was my thought, anyway. Um, but I, I was thinking it'd be cool with the, with the chains kind of crisscrossing. Oh, I could actually have a couple overlap. That's an idea, too. Let me see how that looks. Oh, you know, it might be cool to have them overlap. Then they don't look like they're all coming from the same spot. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. That fixes my problem. So if I have them overlap, then they don't look like they're all coming from the same spot. Because obviously they, they can't. They're, they have different origins. Um... And then also, they aren't all facing the same direction. So maybe kind of like that. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I think that's the way to go. Okay. Uh, here, I'll actually put, put that up in here. All right. I call my cat a little sausage all the time. I call my cat sausage cat sometimes. Cause she's just she's just my little sausage. To be fair, like all of my cats are have like well actually all but one of my cats have a breakfast food nickname. Cause I have uh my little loaf, I have pancake cat, and I have my little sausage. What kind of dog is it? Cause I feel like if it's if it's a, like a, a wiener dog, then it would definitely make sense for it to be a sausage. Alright, so for a little wiggly little man, a wiggly little sir. That's very cute. Okay, so that's the plan for that. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, long, as long as I know what, what links are, that, that's cool. Um, the other set, so I'm gonna do, so I'm doing, I'm gonna do the first layer of that. And I'm also doing a set of fate dice, which are the plus and minus dice. And I think we've decided I'm going to do this, this medium green here. Because this one would be maybe a little bit dark to see the stuff in it, and this one's not quite as vibrant. So I'm going to do that one. Um, but the idea here is that it's going to be kind of full of moss and plants and all that sort of stuff. And then uh, a few little resin rocks. Um, they're just like little stones that I that I made out of some uh, resin colored with with 
silver mica pattern, excuse me. Okay, there's that. Just pulling out my, so that's all my mosses and stuff. And then let me grab, let me grab my, my container of plants. I actually have a couple of containers of plants over here, but let's grab the one that is the things that I did myself. There's a few different places I'm going to pull plants from, probably. Posted them. Hope everyone enjoys the music. Ah. Thank you for the music. Um, okay. So I'm, I'm going to grab my little container here. I want, like, a bunch of, like, little tiny, kind of neutral-ish uh, flowers and leaves and just little foresty bits so i'm gonna look in here and see what i can find like here's some just like little tiny flowers those will be good i have some other little different little flowers in here let's and some leaves let's grab a little bit of that and let's see i'm just gonna try and grab a few different things oh here's some like Kind of pinkish flowers that I think will be pretty. They don't look all that pinkish. So many plants. Yeah. No, they don't look super pink on camera, but got some little flowers there. And I probably want, I'm gonna do mostly like moss and leaves and stuff. Your sausage. Wait, I must see the sausage. How are you doing, Scrayer? Ah. Oh, that's a cute puppy. It's such a cute boy. A cute little sausage. It's a very cute dog. Very cute dog. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out a different thing of plants in a second too. Um, just to to. Um, oh, and then I have some like little unopened flowers. Those will be perfect. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna pull out a different thing of, of plants in a second too. About to sand dice. Oh, okay. Have fun. I was going to do... I did sand some dice earlier today. I was going to do more, and then I got back, like, later than expected from my haircut. Um, also, I got a haircut. I know I'm small down in the corner, but... So, I don't know if anyone noticed. But, yes, my hair is no longer in a ponytail. It's just this short. Um, but, so I ended up just doing some hand sanding today instead of, like, going through and actually... Uh, um, what's the words I'm looking for? Uh, like taking the, I have a, a like a, um, a flat lap, which is technically for like, I think it was originally for doing like stone cabochons and stuff, but I kind of inherited it from my dad because he did that sort of stuff. Um, and I've set it up with, with, um, not quite as abrasive stuff since I'm not doing stone. Uh, but I do that to do, like, the first pass of sanding, because it works nice and quick for, for getting all the the edges and the bumps and that sort of stuff off. Um, off of the dice, that is. So I, I, but I, so I was going to do that earlier today, and then I didn't. I got some, I like these little blue. I think these are really just petals. But those will look good as little flowers in our foresty thing. Let's grab some of those. And some little leaves from there too, I think. Just little, little tiny leaves. Uh, do, oh, do I still have the leaves? I, I had pulled out some leaves and stuff. Oh, you know, you know what I'm gonna pull out? I've got some little tiny clover that I pressed at one point. So we'll pull out a clover. Um, yeah, really, I'm just, I'm just looking through all my flowers and. Finding little tiny things to use. This box is mostly stuff that I um, dried myself. So that's that's what's going on in here. Um, compared to some of the other things that... Oh, those are kind of cool. And that's maybe part of the reason these aren't necessarily quite as vibrant or whatever as some of the other plants that I have. But I do have some more over here that I dried that I'm going to grab some stuff from I think but honestly for like a foresty sort of thing 
I don't want things that are super vibrant. Like I want them to be, you know, pretty color, like nice colors and stuff, but I feel like there's just a lot of like greens and browns and that sort of stuff when it comes to foresty things. Uh, look for, I have this bag of leaves. Let's see if I can find a small one. Mm, I don't know if that's small enough. I'm trying to find something that I think is small enough. Mm. Eh, I don't know if that's small enough either. Eh. Wait, wait, wait. Is that even a leaf? Uh, I don't think that's the same kind of leaf, but I think it'll add some greenery. So we're going to add it to our little thing of Japanese. Ooh! I think that's what these leaves are. I think that's what these leaves are. I just didn't press them. I just dried them. I have a Japanese maple right outside my front door. <laughs> so I could I could definitely press some of those. But that those that would be pretty. That that is a, a good idea. Thank you for the music. The songs I'm singing. Uh well, I'm going to take one of the smaller leaves here and put it in my container. I don't know if I'll end up using it, because it might just be a little bit too big compared to everything else. But, ooh, gold flake with the red leaves. That would be pretty. That would be so autumnal. That would be so autumn. That would be really nice. That would be really nice. Uh, let's see. This is kind of my random leaves uh, slot, I guess. Ooh, see these? I feel like these work well for little tiny, the dice when you need some leaves. Like they're just so fine, they work out really well. So let's grab, let's grab a few of these. I'll just grab all this stuff off the bottom here. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're totally right. The Japanese maple with some gold foil, that would be a good combo. That would be an excellent combo. Let's see, I have some... These leaves are a little bit bigger. Uh, I have some ivy here. Oh, I don't know what that is, but... Oh, that's like a different kind of flower. That'll be good. We'll just, we'll just add that to our little container. Oh, another little flower. Don't know what that's from. We'll add that to the container. I'm just finding all sorts of random things that aren't what I was originally looking for. It works out perfectly. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find things that are small. Small, small, small. Like that clover before is the perfect size. Oh, I think there's a little tiny piece here that we can use. And then it doesn't necessarily look like, it doesn't necessarily look like an ivy leaf, but it'll just add to the texture of the, uh, of the dice. Um, that's really what I'm trying to do is kind of get a mix of textures because that's what's going to make it the look make it look the most foresty It's having all sorts of like different slight variations in color and texture something smooth something's kind of uh, rough That'll that'll make it look very forest floor like At least in my opinion At least in my opinion Make it look the most foresty Speaking of, let's grab this, I'm just going to grab a little piece of, like, like a vine. That'll probably look like a stick or something. Because, uh, you know, I'm trying to make things very small scale. Very small scale. All right, let's see. I'm going to grab some little, I like these flowers. These are just kind of some little, um, bluish flowers. They're kind of, some of them are kind of fluffy-ish. And this is all going to go in green resin as well. So some of the color and stuff is going to be obscured a little bit by that. Which is fine. It's just something to keep in mind while I'm finding things. Like, even if I find something super brightly colored, it's, it doesn't really matter all that much. Because we're not going to be able to see the super bright colors anyways. Oh, this has some good leaves in it. Let's grab some of these leaves, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to grab some of these little tiny leaves. 
Alright, just that. Mm, see some more tiny leaves down here. They're good. They're like a little bit darker than a lot of the other things that I have in here so far. Let's see, is there anything in here? This is kind of a nice little scrap section, so I'm gonna I have like little tiny pieces of leaf and stuff, and that's really what I want, so I'm just gonna steal those. Some little pieces of like sticks almost. I have a random rose thorn in here, but I don't think I'll use that. But I do want, I just want a mix of things. Just to, oops, I dropped it. Just a mix of things. Eh, we'll throw that in there too. Um, I guess I could throw a couple of these in. These ones are kind of strange. But I can use some, okay. This one has kind of like these little sections that I can uh, use as flowers. So we'll try that. We'll try that. Um, I think that's that's pretty good from here. I'll show you. I'll show you what we got so far. Woo! I don't slide everything everywhere. Now I'll probably grab. Oh wait, there's some little. I see some leaves here. Ah, wait, wait. Let's steal that. That has some leaves attached to it. We're gonna steal that. All right, so here's kind of what we have so far. Just a bunch of random, random little bits of plant. But I've got a couple other things. Uh, to be fair, I probably should leave this out. I'm gonna leave this out because I have some stuff I should put in here, actually. So let me, let me set that there. I have a bunch of plants over here that I had like hanging to dry. Let me bring them over. Mm, okay. So I wonder if any of these would, would work well. Hmm, look at these. These yellow flowers might be pretty. They might be a little bit big though. So maybe not. Uh, where do I want to put these? I think they'll probably go, they can go up here. Some of the other little tiny flowers. I don't know what these are. I don't remember what these are. I think they were purple before I, uh, before I dried them. Uh, put that over here. Oh, more, more of the yellow ones. Uh, this one I might steal some leaves from, actually. This one has some little tiny, little tiny leaves here down at the base. Let me steal those. I feel like those will work well. Uh, and that one... That one can go in here. Alright. Now I'll put this away. And then, let's see, I have some, some flowers that are falling apart here. Um, partially, I think, because the cat keeps gnawing on them. But I can use the kind of, like, the, the actual petals and stuff have fallen off, but they kind of still look like flowers. And they're kind of a nice neutral color, so I'm actually going to use a couple of those as flowers, even though they're not really the flowers anymore. Here's one that's kind of small. All right, and I could also grab, I could try and grab a little bit of the like purple feathers and fluff and stuff that have fallen out, but eh. all right, I'll grab, I'll grab a little bit of the fluff, but I don't think I'm gonna use that too much. And then last place, Place I could find stuff is the, the dried botanicals that I ordered. Um, let's see what we got in here. A lot of this stuff is kind of big. There's some chamomile flowers. I think those might be nice. I think we could do some chamomile flowers. I'm not a huge fan of chamomile tea. I know that like I drink a lot of tea. Pardon. Uh, I drink quite a bit of tea, but for, I don't know. Chamomile is just not my favorite. Yeah, I think the chamomile flowers though are a perfect size for these. So we're gonna grab, gonna grab some of those. Throw them in here as well. 
I'm trying to find some like kind of smallish ones. I mean, obviously they're all pretty small, but ones that I think will fit well. And a few chamomile flowers. I mean, I, I, it's not actually going to take all that much, to be honest. Um, we're doing, like, well, I'll probably do five dice, because I usually do, uh, like, a bonus die. Although I might just do a, a blank die for that, I don't know. But it doesn't actually take a lot, especially with the moss and everything that I'm going to put in there. There's going to be a bit of moss. So I think... I think we're probably good. We're probably good actually on the botanicals. Oh here, I'm gonna grab a couple of this. A little bit of this. You can grab any of these. These are like a really dark purple. But they're just kind of strange and they're gonna add some, some different texture as well. So let me grab that. Oh wait, what's this tray? Oh! I apparently have a tray of random pressed flowers here. Oh, this is the kind of uh, tray, by the way, that I'll be, we're, we're gonna make. Um, but I forgot that I had this with some actually like, like a pressed dandelion and stuff. It's all flat. I, this one was kind of fun. I wasn't sure whether you would, could um, press a grape hyacinth or not. But yeah, it actually worked out pretty well. Cause they're just so kind of, I don't know, damp, I guess. I feel like they have a lot of moisture in them, grape hyacinths. Alright. So, we want to have our, our plants there, we want to have our moss, we also want to have some of our little rocks. So these aren't necessarily the prettiest on the backs, because um, the molds that I had them in... Oh! Hi, home. I'm Liz. Um, but yeah, they're maybe not the prettiest on the back on some of these, so I think I'm gonna. I'm debating whether. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm debating if I want to like add a little bit of UV resin to the backs and stick some moss to them so that you don't end up seeing them. I might as well. It doesn't hurt anything. So let's let's do that. I'll grab my UV resin and we'll just stick a little bit mo of moss to it. Oh, come back. Um, yeah, that way, you know, things will, things will look nice and clean. That's, that's really what we're going for. I know that it's, it's supposed to be forest flory, but I want it to look finished. That's, that's really what I'm trying to say. So here's my, my little UV lamp that I got. It's just like a cheap one for nails. I got on Amazon a long time ago. Um, and I'm just going to pull out, so I'll probably use just this moss, because I feel like, I don't know, this moss is pretty dense, so it'll cover up any little flaws. Let me just grab a little bit of that. I've got my tweezers. And I'm just going to like dab, let's see here. I don't actually need, let's figure out what rocks are going in which section, I think. Like how many rocks do I want per section? Like the big one here, this big one could probably be by itself, um, but we could do like a couple of small ones in one of these. Uh, let's see here. Do I have... Just over here, let me check something. Oh, I do! Haha! -ha. I have lava lamp. Ooh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool looking. I just realized I have some like little tiny um, rocks, quote unquote, that I made for a different project too that we can use as well. So we'll use those in conjunction with the... Uh... You need to post all these ideas in, in the Discord so that I remember them later. <laughs> but no, a lava lamp uh, sprinkles. Have I showed you, the, have you seen the sprinkled, uh, sprinkle dice that I made, uh, Bosun? Because I finally got some sprinkle dice to work. Because I tried making sprinkle dice once before, but um, these aren't cleaned up at all yet. But I tried making sprinkle dice before, and my problem was that they got really close to the edges, and then I ended up like sanding off part of the sprinkle, 
which just didn't work out really well. And so I put them in um, blank inserts and then put those in the dice so they have a little bit of a protective barrier around the sprinkles. If I can get it to focus, you can see. Never wants to focus. There we go. You can see there's kind of a protective barrier around the sprinkles there. So I finally got it to work. <laughs> yummy, yummy sugar treats. Yeah, these are these are in my uh, my container here to get done for for October's release. Because technically they're Halloween sprinkles. I guess really it doesn't matter too much. Oh wait, I have I have a, I brought a hair clip down. Keep this out of my face. So I'm just gonna look funky for the rest of the uh, stream, but at least there won't be hair in my face. Eh. There we go. Um, all right. Let me figure out the rocks here. I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to decide. Um, so like a couple of small ones. Like I said, I think this large one, this large one will be by itself. This is a kind of medium one. I'm wondering if I want to put like a small one with this medium one. Should I do three? Could do kind of like that maybe? Hmm, I think that could work. I feel like that's almost too many is my only thought. Like, I don't know that I need, I don't think the focus needs to be the, the rocks necessarily. So I might just do these two with just a single rock in them. And then I'll do the this one with two and we could do this one with three. I think, I think that would be fine. And then I have the little tiny rocks. We'll add some of those as well. I'll add some of these little tiny rocks actually to go with the kind of medium one. For sure. We'll add we'll add a few there. Yeah. And maybe like a couple little tiny ones with this big one. And a couple with the medium. If I can pick them up with my tweezers, that's the hard part. And I'll just add a, little, a couple little tiny pieces with our smaller ones over here. There we go. I think that's going to be plenty of rocks. Here, I'll put those with those. Now we have all of our rocks together. So here, I'll show you show you the rocks that we have. There you go, you can see all the... Oops, it focused for a second there. Ooh. Never wants to find it. Never wants to find it. But anyways, there's the, there's the kind of rocks. A little out of focus, but there's the rocks that we're going to do. Um, so like I was saying, I think I'm going to add a little bit of moss to a couple of these that don't have the smoothest bottoms to them. Although, actually, these aren't too bad. I think I picked ones that aren't, aren't too bad. Hey, Omar, how you doing? Just appear from the shadows, I see. With the cardboard tube. Um, I'm just trying to clean this up a little bit, and I think, honestly, this might be fine without trying to add. I think that once I get it into the other resin, if it's slight, like, it's just kind of like a little bit shinier here, because, the, like, the finish is slightly different, it's not going to be noticeable once it's in the other resin. Because that's going to affect, you know, how shiny it is and stuff. A cardboard assassination. Oh, good. Glad to hear you're doing well. Or swell, as the case may be. This one's a little bit 
kind of rough on the back, but you know, that's the thing with rocks, I guess, is that they're not always super even. So as long as I cut this down so that there's no weird lips and stuff, I don't know that I need to actually do any gluing of the, uh, of the, um, 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 moss. There we go. Food and water break. Always smart. Let's see, you started playing Fallout 76 and lost track of time a bit. I mean, valid. Valid. Can't blame ya. Can't blame ya. Um. Man, yeah, it's, it's so easy to lose track of time. Trying to, trying to, um, carve this down a little bit without carving down my fingers. That would be bad. Don't want to carve down my fingers. I'm trying to carve down the resin, not my fingers. Also, I feel like that would go, go, go against Twitch's terms of service or something about blood. I, you know, that's the important thing. That's the important thing. Don't want to go against Twitch's terms and services, terms of service. I really should read through Twitch's terms of service just like oh like actually read through it cuz there's probably a lot in there I just don't actually know I just kind of guess I just kind of guessed based on everything else that I've heard but man can I not focus on all the legal jargon it's just man I don't know legal jargon just like a lot of words all put together that are meant to not make sense. So I've probably sold my soul to Twitch without realizing it, um, which does explain a lot, quite honestly. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I don't think it is either. I don't think it is either. It was that was kind of a joke more than anything. That's that's gotta happen, you know, all the time. Accidentally cut yourself on something, especially with all the crafters and everything on here. What? What am I guessing? Uh, let's see. What am I guessing? Uh, you have decided to become an astronaut. Um, or you're working on your own book series. Uh, uh, you're about to bonk me with a cardboard tube. Uh, I'm not out of guesses here. I'm not very creative. Sorry, I'm not even on the screen at the moment while I'm trying to clip this down. Wah! Oh, gosh. You guys scare me again. Uh, you keep doing this, Omar. You keep doing this. Blind page. Is that a Twitch thing? That seems strange, because that's the whole point, is that uh, you're doing it without seeing it. Um, but thank you, Omar, for, for resubscribing. I do appreciate it. It's very sweet of you. I'm going to continue to work on cutting this, though, and not get distracted and cut off the tip of my finger. I might end up trimming my nails. I think that's really what's going to happen here, so I'm going to end up trimming my nails. Actually, these are, yeah, these are pretty okay on the bottom. There's a couple of spots that are maybe a little bit kind of funky looking. Oh. Yeah, I don't know with Twitch sometimes. Sometimes they're just a little weird. Take Amazon's money. You know, I will take Amazon's money. That's fair. That is fair. They, they, they can, they can afford. They can afford it. They can afford the $2.50 or... I think it's like two dollars fifty or something for a uh, a, a prime sub. So uh, thank you. I will I will accept Amazon's money. Ah, if I can. Um, oh, this is unrelated to that. Um, I talked about it on the Discord a little bit, but I spent a lot of yesterday um, working on getting my own website. Um, going. It, it doesn't, 
exist yet. There's still a lot I need to do on it. But I'm working on getting my own website set up. So hopefully, with the next restock, I will have my own my own site instead of selling on Etsy, which is terrifying but also kind of exciting. Um, you know, I feel like Etsy was. Has anyone tried to carve into clear resin, brush the carving with mica powder, and pour more resin over it? Hmm. Oh gosh, I hope that doesn't actually link somewhere. Are you sending weird links in, in chat, Omar? Don't click that. <laughs> oh dear. Um. No, it'll be alchemists-addict.com, and it does exist. You can you can go to that. It just says that it's coming soon at the moment. Yeah, I know. It's just like, uh oh, I don't know where that goes. Don't trust that. Okay, yeah, I'm not actually going to do the UV resin. I don't need to. It's not necessary for this. <laughs> Omar out here giving chat a virus. I mean, probably. This, I don't know, this uh, random guy popped into my chat and started spewing weird links. Don't know what to tell you. Alright. Yeah, let's just start putting stuff in the, in the molds instead. So I've got all my rocks. I'm actually going to start, I think, with this moss. It's kind of a... <laughs> alchemist daddy! I, I shall be the alchemist daddy. I'm okay with this. Yes, you may refer to me as alchemist daddy. Oh gosh. I, no, please don't. <laughs> um, no, alchemists-attic.com. Uh, and I've got the, I've got the, like I said, I've got the URL and everything all set up. It just leads to a coming soon page at the moment. So you can go look at it. I, <laughs> I will accept papa. Mm. That, I, I, I will I will accept papa. That works for me. Let's try and spread this out a little bit so it's not just all going in one direction. I'm trying to get it so I kind of have a, a nice base. Papa, Alchem papa Alchemy? That's almost hard to say. Papa Alchemy. It's kind of fun to say, though. Um, so the, I'm trying to make it so I have a good base. Uh, to have, like, because this is dense enough that I can kind of stick other things into it. Um, so I'm trying to get enough of this in there that I can then do that. But I don't want the dice to just look like they're full of this particular, um, I want them to look like they're full of other things, too. In your best Griffin McElroy voice. It was so strange, this is, this is unrelated to, kind of, it's related to that, but unrelated to anything else, but like, you know, before I actually, um, I'd seen the, the, the name, like the McElroy brothers, I, I still thought it was McElroy before I actually heard anyone say it. It's just like, hmm, that seems, that, that doesn't seem right when I heard McElroy for the first time. It's like, that's gotta, that's gotta be wrong. All right, I guess, I guess you're right. It is, it's just spelled like that, I guess. Right, I'm adding some other moss now. This is kind of... I like this moss. I don't know. It's very, like, earthy. It has, like, a little strange little tendrils and stuff, but it has lots of different colors in it, and it's kind of a, a, a rougher texture, I think, than the, the other one. The other one's kind of corally, and this one's kind of rougher looking. I do like the little... Yeah, let me grab one that has one of those little, uh, little things sticking up. He also said it like McElroy. It's just MC usually is like Mick. Like, it's usually the sound that it makes with last names. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of an example now. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Mick. Man, I'm blanking on, on every last name that starts with MC now. Oh, oh, oh well, oh well. I just can't think of names, apparently. Alright, a little bit of moss to this moss to this one. 
All right, I'm kind of building up like a little bit of a base here, and then I'm going to add the rock. McFoley for 90s wrestling fans. Can't say I know much about 90s wrestling. Can't say I know much about 90s wrestling. I was not particularly watching watching wrestling in the 90s. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll add a bit more of this. Okay, and then I'm going to add the rocks in here. Speaking of... He, but Boston apparently knows what you're talking about. I've never really gotten into like wrestling and stuff. I now have no idea what's happening in chat, but that's okay. I don't really need to. Doesn't seem like anything untoward, so that's the important thing. Okay. Yeah, this this all means nothing to me, but that's okay. Um. Anyways, what were we what were we saying? Yeah. Anyways, my own website. But, man, I don't know, there's just so much to do. They're all the same person. <laughs> just, like, a whole bunch of rebranding. Or were they all the same person, like, playing different characters at the same time? Like, not the same period of time. Um, so you never knew, like, which one you were, you were gonna end up with. Um... But yeah, so yeah, it's it's, it's exciting. It's uh, terrifying because it means I'm gonna have to drive all my own traffic, which whew, we'll see how that goes. There was a rumble that they all were in it. See, that's what I was wondering. See, that's just fun. Different branding throughout his career. Okay, see, that's that's kind of what I was wondering. Trying to get these rocks in here. Kind of trying to get it so that they're not too. Um, I want the good sides to be facing out, you know? I want the good sides to be facing out. This, this hair clip's not doing anything. We're just gonna let the hair get in my face. Um, but yeah, there's just, I don't know, there's just a, a lot to do for that. Uh, like, in a good way. Like, I, I'm enjoying all of the different um, options available. There's one thing that's annoyed me. Um, so I'm, I'm building a Shopify site. I'm just on their free trial at the moment, building the site, figuring out how things work. Um, and I like it so far. The one thing that annoys me is um, the, the quantities for, for items with variations like, you can't set, like, a total quantity for, uh, like, something that has multiple variations to it. Which means that, like, for my commissions, I have to set an individual quantity for each variation. Which isn't really how those work. <laughs> so I just gotta manage that myself, which is gonna be kind of annoying. But that's okay. I'll make it work. Alright, I'm gonna add some of this other moss here. I'm just gonna continue adding moss and stuff until it seems appropriately uh, full of, of random bits and bobs. Let's add some moss. Because I want this to look like a forest floor. Um, but yeah, so like, there's, there's kind of like pros and cons, I guess to having one's own website. Um, and the biggest one that I can see is having to drive my own traffic, which I guess, like, you know, I, 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 I do have people now that are like aware of what I'm doing. So it's not as uh, terrifying, but at the same time, just gotta actually figure out how do many people know that that I exist? Once I'm off of uh, once I'm off of Etsy and don't have that way of people finding me, um, I think that it was good to start with Etsy, at least for me, just because of that like initial 
um, you know, people being able to find me thing. Um, here, let me show you how these are turning out so far. I feel like they're turning out kind of hard to see with the lighting, but lots of moss, some rocks in there. It's not nearly full enough yet, though. I definitely need more, uh, more random bits and bobs. So I'm going to add those in there, too. So I've got some little flowers, got some random leaves, and a random piece of leaf. Let's throw this in here somewhere. That seems good. I do want to put, I have a clover in here, like a little tiny clover. And throw a mushroom in here. I don't have a little mushroom. I could, if I had a little mushroom. Um, I wasn't planning on it, though. Oh, here's my tiny clover. I wasn't planning on doing anything too complex with these. I'm just kind of putting stuff in the molds until they're until they're full to a certain extent. Now let's put this little clover along the side somewhere so that we can see it. Mm. Oops, not sideways. I want it right side up. I haven't actually done um, like mushroom dice yet, I don't think. Pretty sure I haven't done mushroom dice yet. I should at some point. I tried it a lot, like, when I was first starting. I just didn't get the mushrooms in there quite right. Couldn't figure out how to do that. I feel like I have a better idea of what I'm doing now. I could probably do that better. So I should make mushroom dice at some point. I got some little tiny mushrooms and things. I was just working on, um, getting some little, little, like, mushroom necklaces made earlier today. This one, unfortunately, I don't know what happened, but there's, like, pink in it. Yeah, you can see the, there's, like, a little bit of pink resin ended up in there. Yes, I did get a haircut. It is no longer in a ponytail. It is just short. Ha-ha! To be fair, this is kind of the length that I like having it. I just, uh, there was a quarantine on it, <laughs> and it got very long. I crave arugula. But <laughs> I don't know why, that's just very, that, that was just a funny uh, sentence to me. Something's different. I get that. You're just like, Some, something is, what is different? And I can't tell what it is. So it's always a haircut, it seems like. It's always a haircut that's different, and you're just like, ah. I'm trying to think of what arugula is. Isn't that, is it a vegetable? Drop my leaves. Arugula is a vegetable, right? I feel like we've had, have we had this conversation before? I feel like I've asked what arugula is before. I just don't remember. Some little tiny leaves. Uh, it's a green, oh, okay. All right. That's kind of, that, that answers my question. Yeah, I'm trying to add a bunch of, like, different things. There's a kind of pretty little flower. We'll add that in here. Maybe I'll just work on one at one section, one cube at a time. That might be easier. Try and get this filled up here. And then move on to the next. And then I can kind of keep track of what I have, too. Uh... We can add some leaves, we're gonna add some some color. Some random little bits of stalks of things. Ooh, we've got a pretty purple flower, we'll add that in there. I want these things to be teeming with life. Uh, it's very bitter, but you love it with some balsamic vinegar, strawberry, and goat cheese. It tastes like stale ham. <laughs> That's a... I'm not a huge fan of ham, so maybe I wouldn't like it. I'm not a big, like, fan of bitter things. I wonder if my brother would like it, though. I like something he might enjoy. He likes trying all sorts of different foods and stuff, though. That's kind of one of his things. Arugula. 
but also arugula just is fun to say so uh there's that eat arugula arugula uh, blah, 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 blah. wow now i can't even say it i just said it was fun to say and now i can't say it arugula 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 i think like it's arugula arugula or is it arugula or arugula is there that U sound in there? Now I'm second guessing myself. Let's add some more of these. This is just kind of the, the super dark purple I had. Add some of these. If I can get them to stick into the moss and stay upright, that would be helpful. There we go. To be fair, these might look like little mushrooms almost, because they, <laughs> they just have a stroke while speaking. <laughs> Man, maybe. Does anyone else smell toast? They're little flowers, but they might kind of look like little mushrooms in here, to be honest. Ooh, I kind of like these as a little group. Let's add those somewhere. I think I'll add those into this one, in the corner, because that seems, those seem cool. Hmm, do I want to do arugula? Okay. Uh, I'm debating, I'm debating, um, so I usually, like I said, I usually try to do like an extra dye, and I'm debating if I want to just do it exactly the same as the others. I might as well just do it the same as the others. I think we'll just, we'll just do it the same as the others. Let me grab a, another rock here. I feel like that'll work. It, that'll be more exciting than just doing a, like a plain blank green dye. I feel like that'd just be kind of boring. I don't want boring. So we'll add, we'll add a rock, a couple rocks over there as well. Cool. Um, actually, I should do the same. I'm gonna do the same thing into this this one right here. And actually, to be fair. Part of the reason that this works out well is then if one of these doesn't turn out for some reason, I have my... Aw, thanks, Bolson. Um, if one of these doesn't turn out, uh, then I do have this one. Um, and I can always make a different s spare. So, might as well. Might as well do the same design. Doesn't hurt anything. I can get things placed into the molds. That's always the hard part. Uh, that, that, a little bit of this. A little bit of this kind of moss. I just want a little bit of everything. I just realized, though, I didn't put any of the darker green moss that I over, have over here into these, and I might as well. Might as well add some of that darker green moss. We'll add some of that. Uh, I'll add that, I think, in a minute. Don't need to do that quite yet. Oh goodness, I'm shedding. That's not cat hair, that's me hair. Okay. Just gonna put that in this corner here. Mm, okay. There, now we have that kind of caught up to where we are with everything else. So I can continue on with what I was doing. And we're gonna add we're gonna add more more random flowers and leaves and stuff. Kind I just want it to be teeming with life. Yeah. I'll add a little bit of dark green in here, like I said I was going to. I like doing stuff like this. I don't know. These are just kind of fun. I should make some some dice kind of like this. I guess I have made dice kind of like this in the past. I did like terrarium dice. Um, they had like dirt on the bottom and stuff. Um, I should make some more of those though. Those are just fun to make. That's mm, like a little dandelion fluff piece. We'll add that. Uh, let's see what else do I have. Oh, I got some little tiny flowers. I think this one's pretty good. 
I kind of don't want to go up all the way to the top, um, partially because I don't want any of this to end up overhanging the side because that's going to make sanding a pain. Um, you know, I want these to be, I don't want to end up sanding any of the, the plants. And like I've, I've ended up doing that in the past with, with sets, but it just always looks cleaner if I don't have to do that. So let's see if I can... I feel like it doesn't look great from this angle. It just looks kind of like a bunch of stuff. But hopefully once it's once it's um, poured and you can see it from the side, it'll look more just forest floor random stuff. Oh, so that is sticking up too far. Speaking of what I was just saying, let's put that in the middle a little bit more. All right. Cool. There's one down. I've started working on these other ones, but we're gonna add we're gonna add some more. Um, and let's see. I have these flowers over here that I thought would be nice in one of these. I'll show you. I'll show you the flowers. Just these little flowers. Are they pretty too tall? Those might be fine. Let's see if I can get these to fit as they are. And if not, that's fine. I'll. Cut them down a little bit, but if I can get these, I kind of want like something interesting almost in each one. So this one has a clover, this one has kind of a clump of that purple. We're gonna do this one with these flowers, hopefully, if I can get them to rest well in the mold. Maybe I'll get them to rest well in the mold. Mm. All right, let me. I'm gonna take this flower off of the other one. I'm gonna do these separately, which is fine. They'll just be easier to place that way. Ooh, is that? It might just be a little bit too tall. All right, I'm gonna make this incrementally shorter. I think I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna work. Velcro done. Ooh. I bet the dye, is the dyeing the fun part? I feel like that's the part that I would find the most fun just cause like bright colors and like get to be creative a bit. That's, that's, that seems like a lot of fun. I realize also that you like the sewing too. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I'd ask you a bunch of questions, but you're probably going to be covered in dye in a minute and unable to, unable to type. Um, if you can still type, like, what is it about the sewing that you that you enjoy? Is it also just kind of like satisfying to see see it done, or um, is it more like creative as well, or um, uh, just something? It's like uh, how do I put this? It's meditative, 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 meditative. Like knitting with less joint pain. Oh, okay, fair. That was the word that I was looking for. Something where it's just kind of like re a repetitive task almost that has an end goal. Well, I, I, oh, I was assuming that, the, that they meant uh, for the knitting. It had less joint pain, but... Alright, so I'm still adding some little leaves and stuff random little bits of whatever this is. Oh, hand sewed this bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you have a, um, do you have a shop, uh, Drebo? Do you, do you have a, a shop or something where you sell, like, um, dice bags and stuff? Not yet? Oh, okay. I was just curious. It's it's a-okay if you just do it for fun, too. A-okay to just make things for fun. Or your friends, or, you know, any of that. I know that quite a few people on, like, Twitch and stuff, like, stream stuff that they also sell. If they do arts and crafts. Figuring out a good process for- that's fair. That's a fair point. Uh, it's quite possible that I, um, I don't know. I don't know 
if I started selling dice before I should have. Um, but I, if I hadn't done it, then I probably never would have. So, you know, there's that. Oh, we got a random leaf. More random leaf. This is one of the, the little tiny ones. Oh, wait. Which one was I working on? I was working on this one. Let's go back to the one that I was working on. Oh, I hear a kitty cat outside my door. I hear a kitty cat. I think it's a Luna. Yeah, that sounds... I think that's a Luna. Should we, should we have a sh short kitty break? See the kitty? Oops, if I can get the moss put away. Let me grab the kitty. I just want to make sure that I have all of my plants. My plants uh, set to the side. So that we don't end up with plants everywhere. And I don't want her traipsing on top of the, uh, the dice. Alright, I'm going to grab the kitty. Fluffy baby. It's the fluffy one. It's the right here. It's the fluffy baby. It's the fluffy one. Look at how fluffy this tail is. <laughs> yeah, this this is this is Luna. She's very uh needy. <laughs> she's a very needy cat. But she's happy now that I'm holding her, which is very normal for her. She'd probably just go hang out. She's she's found a spot that she likes laying in this room now. Mwah. Okay, I will I will smooch her head for you. Um, so she'd probably just go hang out. But since we're gonna be pouring resin later, can't hang out in here. Can't hang out in here. I'm afraid, Bibby. Can't hang out. All right, we're getting we're getting our little cuddles in. But got put you back out. Gotta put you back out, baby. She's very sweet. I'm. She has such a big tail. She. There's so much tail on that cat. It's so fluffy. All right. Let me go back to adding things to the mold. Feather duster. Man, if only she would like sweep up dust instead of adding uh, cat clumps of cat hair everywhere. That would be good. It'd be nice if she actually cleaned up the house as opposed to adding to the adding to the dust. I can dream. I can dream. Alright, let's see. Which one was I working on? I think I was working on this one. I'm trying to decide. Maybe I added... I, I'm not going to add this to this one. I don't need... That's almost too much, I think, in this one. I want a variety of things, but I don't want these to be, like, too busy. I'm kind of starting to like how this one is turning out. Um, partially because I can still see the rocks and stuff. So I'm going to add a few more little things around the side, but... I like being able to see the rock and the moss and everything. Eh, come on. Okay, I think, that, I think that's looking pretty good. I could add something more in like the corner here, I think. I think that's where I'm at. Mm, I think I'll grab a random leaf. We're gonna grab a random leaf for the corner. That'll fill it in nicely. Yeah, that is Pancake Cat. I was saying earlier that I have like breakfast food nicknames for all but one of my cats. And that's Pancake Cat, because she when she like lays down, it's like she melts and suddenly she's just like flat. She's like a rug. And so since I already had Loaf Cat uh, coined and Sausage Cat coined, she became Pancake Cat. Mm. Let's see here. Well, you know, I think maybe give me something in this corner. Maybe not that. Give me something in this corner. I think this one's looking pretty good. I think this is going to be a set where it's going to be 
a lot easier to see what's going on once they're, you know, done and out of the molds. Alright, cool. I think that's pretty good. I could add a little bit of dark green here, maybe. That might be good. So go in this corner that's maybe a little bit empty. That. The problem is that everything is like so light that it kind of, it's it just moves so easy. So I try to put something in there and everything else shifts. Um, okay, I think that's good. Move on to the next one. And that's this the one with the flower. A couple of flowers. And let's see what else we got here. Has the wait, which one? Oh, this one has the clover. The clover has fallen over, but we'll add that back in a bit. So I'm trying to just make it kind of so that it's it's covered on the bottom. That's that's the real goal. It's like I don't really want there to be like a blank space on the bottom because it's kind of supposed to look like a forest floor, and there's not just random empty spaces in a forest floor. Ooh, I like these leaves. These leaves are kind of cool looking. Let's see if I can show you. Those just look kind of cool. They're all kind of like curly wrinkly. So let's add those somewhere. I think we could add those in here. Mm, those might detract from the, uh, from the flowers. I'm going to actually add those in the next one over. Put those in this one. And the one that's going to have the uh, the clover in it as well. Let's put the clover over in this corner, I think. I'm going to put it somewhere where I can see it. It's not going to get covered too much by the, the symbols. So I'm going to put it kind of in the corner. Ugh, I have cat hair in my mouth now. This is what I get for smooching the head of the kitty. Um, yeah, my bees are coming along. I just got a lot of random little things here that I could add in. No, it's not a chamomile flower that could be cool somewhere. I'm going to put that in this one because I like it. All right. So once once I get these, I like everything put into these, um, then we will be we will be all golden and ready to go. Um, because I'm gonna be adding, oops, I'm gonna be adding this. Where did that go? I just had like a thing of of leaves in my tweezers, and now they are gone. Well, oh wait. So these ones, I might have just not picked them up properly. I'm trying not to crush them, but also pick them up. Uh, kind of, I'm going to put this kind of under the flower a little bit, kind of fill in that space. But also make it so that you can still see the flower, because, you know, I want the flower to be seen. That's going to be kind of the focal point of that, that particular, um, this particular dye. But let's get all the leaves and everything in here. <laughs> you wish to be held like like a soft kitty and gently kissed on the head. I don't know I don't know why, but the like a soft kitty. The, 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 just the, the I don't think it's a I don't know what to say. The sound, the word just the sound smorch just popped into my head just like a little smorch on the head just like hmm doesn't seem quite right it's close but not quite not my the random resin here is peeling up man i could spend way too long here peeling up the resin from my table you always say smorf Smorf. Smorch. Smorf. Have I picked that up from you somehow? 
I don't know how, but it's possible. There's some kind of like pale leaves. Let's add a little bit of that. Add that in the corner, and I think the, that one's done. And then I got one more here, and then we'll do that one. That's your response to dice. Oh, okay, maybe maybe I have seen that. Maybe that's why it's ra it randomly popped into my head. I'm like, where have I even heard that? That seems like something I would hear on the internet, but uh, I could not think of like a context or anything for it. No, don't stick to my tweezers. Ooh, also don't break. Please don't break. Okay. I'm I'm talking to the uh, um, clover because I got a little tiny clover in there. I don't want it to break. I do have another little tiny clover that I could pull out, but I'd rather not. This one's going to have all the fun leaves in it, I guess. All the fun leaves. It does have a chamomile flower and the clover, but it's going to have all the fun leaves as well. Oh, I should add some little, some of this dark green as well. I think that'll look, that'll pair nicely with this. A little bit of nice dark green. A little bit of contrast. Okay. Hmm. I could use I could use something here. I'm not quite sure. So I'm gonna pull out a little bit more of this dark green because I you love pumpkin. Oh man, I'm I'm still I'm still excited and curious to see what people play for critical role wise in campaign three. I still have like hopes. For what people play but i i am curious curious for what what people decide to do like i still i still think that sam would make a really good cleric um let's see i think i think those are pretty good let me do this last one here um i don't know if everybody here has has seen critical role or not but they recently finished their second campaign um so there's gonna be a third one at some point he'd be so petty about healing you know i think he would in a, in a certain context but also he's a really good support he's a really good support player oh after molly that's fair yeah there were some really good moments in it I, I had that with campaign one, um, cause like I heard about Critical Role from a D and D buddy way back during campaign one, um, and I was just like, okay, I'll take a look at it, and then I'm just like, oh my gosh, there's so many episodes, I I don't have the time for this, and now I've seen the whole thing. Yeah, but it is a big time commitment and stuff. But yeah, no, I I think that Sam. Would make an excellent. He make. He's a really good support player. Like. Oh man. Oh, I like. Bo has a good character arc and everything. I wasn't just like Marisha. I love. I love her and Caleb's dynamic. Like the. You know the whole. There was like all sorts of like. Apparently like internet drama and stuff. With those characters. Because those characters like fought and stuff. Cadu oh, I do love Caduceus. Caduceus was, pro was probably my favorite. Um, apparently there was like internet drama and stuff because like the two characters fought, Bo and Caleb did. And I'm just over here like, yes, the drama. This is great. I didn't even find out about it until like a long time after. I'm like, oh, people were fighting about this? Why? It was really good character stuff. I love stuff like this. Um, but I, like, I don't know, I'm, I think that's maybe part of the reason I like TV shows, sometimes, depending on the TV show, more than, um, uh, movies, is because I, I'm, I love, like, character studies. I love stuff where you get to see, like, characters change over time. Um, and Campaign 2 was one of those ones where I didn't realize how much the characters had changed until I w looked back, I'm just like, 
oh, Ford is completely different now. In, like, a good way. And it was just, yeah, I don't know. I like the, the character study of it all. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I still think that, uh, that, that Sam would make an excellent cleric. Um, like I said, he's a good support player. He, he would, uh, you crave inner character drama. Exactly. And that's, that's, I, it was people being, like, butthurt, I think, because it was, like, eh, this person's right, this person's right. It's just, like, guys, you're, you you don't know what's going on. You really don't understand. These are people who are playing characters that are, in, that love the drama of it. Um... Maybe that's why I always like stuff that, that Liam does, too, because it's just like, he's, he just loves the drama. Um, and the womp. That's really what it is. He likes the womp. Um, but no, no, um, well, for those of you that do watch Critical Role, do you have any, like, hopes for classes or races or anything that they play? Like I said, you, um... say that um I'd say that Bo's uh journey was not linear I'd say it wasn't linear but she definitely changed and then Ford I thought yeah exactly the character development wasn't linear but it definitely happened um cause like she, you know stuff happened and she kind of tried to self-destruct a little bit to a certain extent cause old stuff came up and that sort of stuff and, I mean, Ford, they really did dive into Ford's, they didn't dive into, like, his backstory stuff, um, but that's because I think, you know, they left the campaign, um, where they thought it tied up the best, like, that stuff probably would have come up post-campaign, and maybe it'll come up in, like, a one-shot or something, but he, Ford probably had the most character development, I would think. And it was kind of interestingly subtle. Um, like, like I didn't realize how different the character was until until I looked back and I'm just like, oh, he's changed a lot. In, for the better. <laughs> mm, oh, that one. I mean, I do always love, yeah. That's, I forgot about that, yeah. To be fair, like, I do love that, that part too, cause, uh, um, oh man, oh yeah, he, he's great. That's not the right thing. Is that the right thing? Is that the lid for this? Yes, okay, this is the lid for that. Alright, I think I've got these all figured out. Let's see if I can kind of show you. Uh, let me add a little bit of dark green to this one. This one needs some variation. But hey, if you don't like it, you know, you don't have to watch it. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Like I said, I like character study stuff. I like... I like I like the long-form uh, character arc-ness of it. Um, and, like, things matter, I guess. That's the thing with, like, sitcoms and stuff is quite... Like, depending on the sitcom, things will happen that then don't matter the next episode just because it's very serialized. And so, like, stuff like that, where, like, everything matters from one episode to the next, I'm just like, yes! Give me the character development and how things are going to change. Um, okay. So I've got that all ready to go. I've got my little mixing cup and my... Oh, I need to figure out... I'm debating... Uh, oh, I need to do this, actually. Um, I'm debating for the, should I do the crystal? I'll do the crystal shape. I got a different one that's just kind of like, it's a square, but it spirals. I was debating doing that. Um, yeah. To be fair, part of why I love Critical Role 2 is just that the people that are sitting around the table are obviously super good friends. Like, I love watching things where the people who are making the thing 
obviously are enjoying doing it. And Critical Role is one of those things where it's just like, these people are having fun. And it's just more fun for me to watch because I know that the people that are that are making it are also having fun. Um, they're, they're having a good time. We'll just do a crystal one. I was debating doing that other shape, but I think we'll do a crystal. But anyway, anyway, um, yeah, no idea when, when campaign three will be, but I, I am still, I'm ho still hoping for, for, um, Cleric Sam and, um, School of Eloquence Bard Liam, because that would be fun too. I want, I want him to go full Shakespeare. Because that, that guy can soliloquize. So, soliloqu solilo is that how we would say it? Oh, are they talking the fall for, for campaign three? I did not, could not remember when they were planning on doing campaign three, to be honest. So. Alright, cool. So that could, that could happen. They'll pro I figure they're probably going to announce some of that stuff after they finish with the the mini series that they're doing right now. Not too long after the oh okay. Yeah, so I'm 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 excited to see what they do. But if other people like Critical Role, I am I would be curious to know what you expect and or hope for as well. I also want Laura to get first pick on um what class she wants to play. <laughs> Because apparently both campaigns, the class that she wants to play has been, been stolen by someone else. Not like stolen, stolen, but it's just like, man, I want to play that. Alright, let's see here. I'm just adding a bunch of stuff to this, uh, this keychain. I'm hoping, I'm hoping my amount of resin for the tray ends up being the right amount. Uh, made for great plot twists and campaign. I mean, that's fair. Um, it's fair with with the tagging and everything. Man, I like I like phase stuff, and this isn't just talking critical role or whatever. But the the stuff where it's just like uh, otherworldly sort of. <laughs> it's, I'm not, hey, I'm not. She's obviously not super butthurt about it. She, she's playing with her friends that. You know, they all communicate well. If she was really annoyed about it, she would talk to him. But, but, joking, kind of half-jokingly, it's just like, she, she should get to play whatever she wants. She should, she should get first pick this, this, uh, this time around. Um, but, yeah, Jester was a really fun character. Yeah, it would have made sense for her to be a warlock, to be fair. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what people are going to play. I would assume they're all going to try and play something that they haven't played before. I, I think it would be interesting to see Travis go full spellcaster. If Travis played like a sorcerer or a wizard or something. I do think that would be interesting. Um. Alright, let's see here. I think that's pretty good. Just trying to get everything kind of down in there. Yeah, I think that'll be good. I'm trying to do a, uh, a keychain. Alright, cool. Let me get this stuff out of the way. So, I think. Let me make sure that I have everything. Oh, I was thinking of trying to. Hmm. So I, I'm I'm trying to decide if I could uh, trying to figure out if I could um, do. Oh, sorry, I'm knocking things around. If I could do one of these, this open like, uh, is it a bezel? I can't remember. Uh, but this open thing with two part resin, because um, I'd be worried about it leaking out. Uh, my thought. This is how I I've done it with UV resin. You take some tape, 
Um, let's take a little bit of tape. And you just uh, set that down there and like squish it on. And hopefully that will seal it. But I just don't know if I trust it or not. So, I don't know, I guess we could try it. We can try it. Shouldn't hurt anything to try it. If it all, the only thing that's bad that could happen is that I'll just lose some resin and I'll make a little bit of a mess. So we will, we're gonna try, try doing an, this open face thing. And I think I'll do, put some flowers and stuff in there too. Yeah, I'll put like a, a flower in there. And I think I'll probably add that after I add the resin so that uh, I don't just stick that to the to the tape. Okay. Cool. Let me, let me set this away. You should see how messy my table is off to the side here. It's very messy off to the side here. Um, okay. So we've got those. We've got that and we're gonna do our green and then we've got our tray here i think i think i'm ready to go i think as long as i get this cat hair out of here get out of there cat hair um i think i think that's everything i need it's strange because i'm used to doing like three different sets of dice um at a time but i'm just doing the tray and the dice like three sets of dice and a bunch of random little things so it's just strange to me only doing a couple of, of things. Um, okay, I think I think we're ready to pour some resin. So let me grab my safety equipment, namely gloves and a respirator, which quite honestly I should probably get new filters for. I think this could maybe use new filters. Uh, hmm, do I want my sweater back on? Maybe I'll put my sweater back on. We'll, we'll pour some resin. Hmm, do I want to try clipping my hair back again? I think not. I think that's just going to cause more problems. I'll hold it back with my with my respirator here. Alright. So, I'm going to grab my... Let's just grab a... I'm just going to grab a new stir stick. I have my two parts of resin, and we will, we will pour that into our mixing cup. All right, so I actually have I have the uh, resin, and then I have the hardener here. And the um, particular kind of resin that I use uses an equal part of both. Um, so I'm going to pour ugh, 50 milliliters of this into the cup. And then we'll pour 50 milliliters of the other one. I'm going to go quiet for a second here because I can't actually talk and measure at the same time. So feel free to chat amongst yourselves about whatever. I'll get my, my hair out of the way um, while I get this poured. Alright, and then we're going to mix this up for 
up for a little bit, so. This will take a minute. We can chat about stuff. I don't know if you guys have, have noticed in the, my many streams, but I actually pour the two parts in a particular order. I always pour, pour the resin first and then I pour the hardener. And it's not because it like affects the mixing or anything. It's actually because the resin is uh, like more viscous than the um, than the hardener. Like it's thicker, and so it's just harder to control how much is in there. And so if I pour that one first, um, if I add like a little bit too much or something, I can take a little bit out instead of uh, instead of just having to try and like even everything else out. This is easier for me that way. Uh, this is going to take a while to stir. Uh, you, can, you can tell that it's definitely not mixed completely because it's still very like cloudy and you can kind of see streaks in it. I don't know if you see on the camera. But there's just a lot of like swirls and, and streaks in here. So we want to keep stirring this until it's pretty clear and there's no more, n no more of those streaks because that's where the two parts are kind of brushing up against each other but aren't completely mixed yet. Whew. Man, it's been it's been a long time since I've played D and D myself. Like I yeah, I don't know. I've I've played D and D for ever since I was a kid. And I had I was kind of part of a D and D group before the quarantine, but uh, you know kind of, everything kind of got pushed to the wayside a little bit with, uh, what with the quarantine and everything. And I don't know, I just can't do it, like, online. Especially when it's just, you know, like, maybe if it was over Zoom or something where I could see everybody. But with, like, just voice on Discord, I'm just like, I can't pay attention to this at all. I just don't have the attention span for it, I guess. Plus, I guess, like, one of the, there's so many different things that people like about D&D, &D, and different ways to play D&D, &D. but like, the thing that I, the main thing that I enjoyed about D&D, &D, um, wasn't actually the game, it was just like getting together with a group of people for dinner, and like hanging out, and chatting, and you know, just ha having some sort of like common thing to do together, like you have like a common goal, a project that you're working on together. So you like never run out of stuff to talk about because there's you know you're always playing the you have the game that you can talk about. I don't know, just the just the um. Uh, oh man, what's the word I'm looking? For? The community, not community. Um, social. That's the word I'm looking for. Just the social aspect of it. Just the social aspect of D and D. So you know, playing online didn't have quite that same, quite that same. I don't know. It didn't, have, it didn't have the same social quality to it, which is one of the things that I really liked about the game anyways. There's still quite a few streaks in here, so we're still mixing. Whew. Although, okay, so, but, I mean, I guess branching off of that, there's lots of different ways to, like, play D&D, too. I feel like there's kind of become almost, um, I don't know, I feel like there's, like, a preconceived notion, not a preconceived notion, but, like, this notion that there's like a wrong way and a right way to play D and D, and there's not really, and there is, but there isn't, and that's because like the wrong way to play D and D, and to play D and D where not everybody at the table is having fun. The right way to play it is everybody at the table is having fun, and there's just so many different ways to do that depending on the the people that are playing. Like, I'm not really a like a combat murder hobo type, um, but my brothers played ga campaigns with, with other folks where they just want, they just want a dungeon, they just want to go in and kill everything and loot everything. They don't want any RP, they don't want any puzzles or anything, they just want combat. And that's fine, you can play the game like that. As long as everybody like going into it is planning to play the game that way, wants to play the game that way, then that's great. You know, I, I don't think I would have fun doing that. You're not a murder hobo, but the most recent search in D&D right now is activating your murder hobo tendencies. Man, I am the opposite of a murder hobo. Um, I, 
I like playing the game without fighting anything. To be fair, every once in a while it's just like, yes, give me combat, but, you know, I like, I like playing D&D. &D. So, can't solve a murder mystery if everyone's murdered. Yeah, I mean, I guess that would solve the problem, right? Um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, like, I don't know, I, I, I like playing high charisma characters and just talking my way out of situations. I, I'd rather do a, a game that has lots of, like, puzzles, or, you know, creative uses of game mechanics and that sort of stuff over combat. Combat's fun every once in a while, but, you know, it can get repetitive, I guess. But I love, yeah, I love, I love trying to, like, talk my way out of situations. Although, at the same time, I haven't done, like, an RP-heavy campaign before. That's not something I've really done. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Also, like, metagaming doesn't bother me. Cause I'm just like, yeah, let's just figure out how we can do this. That's fine. I don't care. Like, because if you're not playing, like, an RP-heavy game, then it's just like, yeah, we know the game mechanics. Why not use them? <laughs> but it really just comes down to the people that are at the table and are playing. And what everybody wants to wants to do. And that includes the DM, too. Everyone needs to be on the same page. Like, how, how, do, how do you as a group want to play the game? But that's also the fun thing about D&D, is that, like, no matter, like, the kind of game that you want to play, you can kind of find that in D&D, as long as you find, it, like, the right group of people. And I, I think I said this before, too, I think that's what I've enjoyed about Minecraft, too. I recently got into playing Minecraft. Is that there's so many different ways you can play that game. Because um, you, can, you, can, you can go the, um, you can go the adventure route, you can go the combat route, you can go the building route, um, you can go the, the mechanics route, building, building things with um, redstone and stuff. Like, I don't know, it's just, both of them are very versatile games. You can even go the RP route with Minecraft. Another thing that people do, people set up, like, RP-based servers. Um, I just, I don't know, there's a lot of overlap. Kind of, kind, there's kind of, like, a strange overlap between Minecraft and D&D, &D, I guess. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Let me just scrape the sides one more time, make sure that I don't have any streaks in here. I just want to make sure that there's no random bits of part A or part B that are not mixed in. There's a little bit, I think, on on the stir stick, but let me scrape this off and then scrape the side again and we'll make sure everything is mixed together. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with pouring off the bit for the green resin. I think this is all mixed. That's looking all mixed. All right, I'm gonna start with pouring off the stuff for the green resin here, because um, we're gonna be adding a whole bunch of stuff to the um, to this this container itself for the uh, the gold. What? There is a hair. One of my hairs, I think, that's just right there tickling me. I have hair everywhere today since I got it cut. Deciding one, I want, I don't know, my hair's deciding it wants to shed. Um, Alright, so that's all mixed. Uh, I'm going to want about probably 25 or so milliliters of this, I think. Maybe not even quite that much. Probably closer to 20, but we'll, we'll go towards the, uh, we'll go towards 25. A set of regular, of like an, a seven piece set of dice, well, an eight piece even, takes about 30 milliliters of resin, and this takes about 20. Um, but I'm also doing like a, a keychain with it. It shouldn't take too much, but I'm gonna go between 20 and 25. I'd rather have a little bit extra resin than not enough. Alright, perfect. 
And so that's going to be our green resin. And then actually, I think I want to do this first. And that's because for a couple of reasons. One, oh, actually, here, I want to do this. Go a little bit over in this mold. Um, so I'm going to do this first. And that's because for a couple of reasons. Um, hmm. That's kind of messy, but that's okay. I think I can fix that. Um, I want to uh, uh, do the petri, and I want the, the resin to be liquid enough for it. Yeah. And then also, in a, while it's in a big container like this, um, it will get warmer faster and start to cure a lot quicker. And so this is going to cure quicker than my little cup of resin. So I would rather do the big one first and get that out of the way before it cures really fast on me. Okay. So let me get... I spilled a little bit outside, but... All right. I think I can clean that up later. I'm gonna... All right. Let that sit over there. Off to the side for a bit. All right, so for this, I want a little bit of gold shimmer. I don't want a ton. Let me just dip that in. And let's see how much. See if that's enough gold shimmer. Like I said, I really don't want a lot. A little bit goes a long way. I have to do a little bit more though. I think that's probably going to be enough. The, the shimmer is just kind of a faint. It's a little bit to add to it. Just so when it touches the light, you can see that little bit of glitter to it. Yeah, I think that's good. There's a little bit of shimmer to it. And then I'm going to add a bunch of gold leaf. Gold foil. I don't, think this is, I don't, I don't know if this is actually gold foil, but... Trying to see here. Trying to get the individual sheets unpried from each other. Just so I can stir it in a little bit better. It's a little bit easier. Alright. Oh man, it's so it's so thin. It's just Clump and stuff. All right, come on. I'm trying to break this up into some little pieces. I definitely want there to be enough gold foil in here that it's visible, but I don't want so much that like we don't see the pea tree and everything. Uh, yeah, I want enough for it to be able to spread out. I'm going to try and break some of this up into some smaller pieces, I think, and then I'll add some more, and it can be slightly larger pieces. Yeah. Just kind of pushing it against the side, trying to break it up. I, think I, need, I definitely need a little bit more foil, though. That might be enough. That might be enough right there. Get that off my finger. Let's try that. Constellation dice? Ooh, like, that'd be... You know, that could be doable with my new blank inserts. Like I could, I could do like kind of a starry, um, like a blank, starry blank insert, and then like draw the constellations on there. That'd be pretty cool. Dice, dice. Ooh, my favorite, my favorite theme, dice. To be fair, I think feel like I have seen dice where people have taken like small, smaller dice, and then put them into like larger dice. You know, I might be able to. I wonder how many of like the regular. You have dice in a dice. I, I am wondering now how many of like my regular dice I could fit into one of the um, chunky D20s that I have a mold for. Because like, uh, you know, could do something cool with that. Could do something cool with that. Do a chunky D20 that has like a bunch of other, other dice in it. That'd be fun. Chaos base character. That's true. That's true. Alright, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's make sure there's no big clumps in here. I think we're okay. 
That seems like... We can always add a little bit more gold later, too, if I need to. Add some more gold foil to the, um, to the mold itself. Let's make sure there's no random cat hairs in there. I do have, a, like, a percentile, like, uh, a D... Percentile dice that's a D10 with a D10 on the inside that, that rolls, like a hollow D10 with a little tiny D10 on the inside that rolls. So you could do like if your percentile D100 stuff. Alright. Let's see, all of this. Actually, I think that's a good amount of gold. Yeah, that's a good amount of gold. Man, I hope that I have enough resin here though. I'd like, yeah, we'll see, I want to see, um, I want, like, just enough resin, if it doesn't even, even if it doesn't, like, completely cover the chains, that's fine, but I do want the chains to show up visible when I add the black in the next layer. Ooh, this might be perfect. I think, I think this is the perfect amount of resin. Yay! That worked out. <coughs> I feel like that's a good distribution of the, the gold as well. Alright. Yeah, and I have the, the chains hanging off the sides, um, because I don't want them kind of like falling, like, this is going to be a, you know, this, I'm on the bottom right now, I don't want them really falling upwards, so I'm going to clip, like, let this cure and then clip those. Yeah, let's get, let's get a bit of resin here, and then we're going to do, let's do our petri. Cool. I don't know if I want to wait a little bit or not with the petri. Um, Hmm. Well, let me, let me, I'm going to let that sit first, just a second. I'm going to get my green mixed up here. And then we'll do our, our Petri, I think. I'll probably two drops of the green. So I do also want this to be liquidy enough. I don't know if liquidy is the right word, but I want it to be thin enough. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. I want the, the green resin to be thin enough that um, there's time for all the air bubbles that are going to get trapped and all the little leaves and everything to rise to the surface. So I might just pour this before I actually do the pea tree. Mm, that could be darker, I think. It's almost too lime. I'm going to add a little bit of this, the darker green. I'm going to drop of the darker green. That might, yeah, that might, that might help a bit. Yeah, that's a better green, I think. That's more of a forest green. Gonna get going. Yeah, have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. So we get to hang out and chat for a bit. Yeah, I think that's a good green right there. So we're gonna use that. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour a little bit of this. I think we'll pour this now, like I said. And then we'll do the then we'll do the petri. Cause I do, I'll probably need to pour more in a minute for this one. After stuff is actually sunk to the bottom. Cause that might take a minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can already see bubbles rising to the surface, which is good. Which is good. I want those bubbles to be rising to the surface. I can all also see the, the level going down on a couple of these. Yeah, so we'll, we'll fill those in again already. So I'm going to let these sit for a minute. Let me overfill them a bit. Do the do the domed top like I, I will want them to be. Let's also get going on the uh, the keychain a little bit. So I want things to be able to sink down in there as well. And that might take that might take a little bit of time because there's kind of stuff in the way. All right, I'll split those. Split those with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. All right, 
Oh, let's go. Oh! Wait a second, I uh, accidentally just caught the chains and ended up with them. No, get out of there. Alright. So, I've got, my, I've got my black ink, I've got my white ink. Um, the plan is to do a petri kind of around the side. I want it to kind of um, go into the, the, the little lip part, but I'm going to just kind of do a flat black, the plan anyways, on the bottom. So we're just going to kind of go around the side here. Right along the edge. I think I need to get more black ink at some point. I think I'm running a little bit low. I don't feel like there's very much left in here, to be honest. Alright, I might add a little bit more of that in a moment so that I can get it all full, but I'm going to add a little bit of white first. Just a drop of white into, into these drops of black. Right along the edge. And then I think we'll do another drop of black, kind of in between all of these drops of black. Fill it out, and then we'll do another drop of white on all of those. I don't know, peach trees are one where, I don't know, I don't know if I've, I'm still figuring out peach trees and how to get them, like, good every time. There's just, you know, like, I don't know, dirty pores I can get good, like, every time. But peach trees is just like, of a mystery on, on how much uh, of the uh, like um, kind of tendrils and stuff you'll get. Ooh, man, all the all the ink wanted to come out at once there. All right, and then we're gonna add some more white right along that side here. Oops. A lot of black spilled in here, that's, that's fine. And I think I can use a little bit more black on this side now. So I'll try to cut, so because of how like it, liquids work, it kind of it, it sticks to the, the sides a little bit. It depends on the liquid, but like with water and stuff, it sticks to the side a little bit. Um, and so it, you end up with a meniscus where it, it kind of curves up. Because of that, all this stuff is trying to kind of move towards the center a little bit. This isn't actually what I want. That's more black on this side. Looks like it could use a little bit more. It's harder for me to see this side, so I think I might have missed that spot a little bit. All right, let's see if we can get that. The <laughs> oh no, we're having the meniscus uh, conversation again. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have even said the word meniscus. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen, and I did it anyways. I'm a victim of my own hubris. No, I don't think hubris is the right word in this case, but it's my own folly. So hopefully, hopefully that stuff, <laughs> the sleep range inactivated, hopefully that stuff will sink down along the sides and then I'm going to add a layer of black on the bottom so it'll be a nice solid black in the middle. Uh, and then actually I think I'm going to grab, so I'm going to put this into the pressure pot, I'll put it into the pressure pot with some dice. I'm going to grab my, my double decker, um, uh, pressure pot thing here. Put it on. If I can get it on. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Alright, that's all ready to go into the uh, pressure pot. I grab, I've got my little tray here. And we'll finish our little reading. You know, I feel like this stream ended up being mostly the setup with the plants and everything. 
The actual coring of resin here is going pretty quick. So we're not doing a bunch of different things. But I feel that's that's a lot of the, the streams that I do, I do a lot of different things, and so the setup takes a lot of time. If I'm doing like one, like three of the same set of dice, it takes less time. Um, and that's really what I've I used as a... Um, so I timed myself at one point, like all the different steps of making dice. Uh, and when I say that it takes me, you know, 40 minutes to pour a set of dice, including like setup and everything, that was doing three of the same type set of dice, same design of dice, at the same time. Which isn't usually what I do, so usually it takes me a little bit longer than that, but... I'm just kind of pushing everything down. Making sure it's, it's staying down, because all of this stuff wants to, like, float. Oh, and then we'll put a little bit on the lids. I almost forgot to put some on the lids. It's not as important, I feel like, for this, um, because quite often I put it on the lids so that I don't end up with air bubbles in the numbers. But there's not actually any numbers on these lids, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, I don't know, it's still good to have a little bit of extra resin, just for when I put these in the pressure pot to fill in any, any air gaps there may be. So, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of extra. Yeah. Wasn't, there was a third thing that meniscus meant wasn't there? Because there was your the, the bone in like your knee, and there's the the curve of the wa of water. There's also like a, a meniscus throw, isn't there? So there's a sports thing. There's a sports thing I think that uses meniscus, but I feel like there's a third or another thing that we had with our whole meniscus um, like conversation at, at one time. Um, yeah, we, we, we had a, a friendly argument over the meaning of the word meniscus for anybody that's new here. It was, it was a friendly argument, but it's because there's just so many different things that are called the meniscus. Wait, no, is the meniscus a bone or a, 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 a muscle? Now I'm not sure. Alright, I got a little bit of extra clear here. So let's, uh, oh wait, here, I have, I have a random D4. We'll just add this random, a little bit of clear to this random D4. Fin finish this off. It's a tendon. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, torn meniscus. Okay, that makes sense now. I had to think about that for a second, but yeah, torn, torn meniscus makes sense for a, a tendon. Right. Alright, I think we're almost done here, folks. I think we're almost done here. Let's pop any bubbles. Push everything down one last time. Make sure it's not floating. So, I'll just, uh, I got a little bit of extra resin. Oh, I, I, I need to put those into some crystal shapes. So I'm so very, very close to being done with this. Um, oh, I did totally just realize that I'll probably be shipping the tray with the, uh, the crystals. That works out, actually. So I think they'll be ready about the same time. Alright, what's that? Man, the, the crystals are marked so far overdue, and quite honestly, it's just because a cup ended be up being, like, a lot more than, like, I thought it would be. I'll, let me show you how many crystals I have made. Let me show you. Here's the, uh, here's the crystals that I have made. It's in a cup measure, and then, because I'm trying to get it to a cup, and I'm very, very close. I just need a few more, and then these will be ready to ship off, but... Man, a cup it is a lot. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get a few more little crystals made so I can get that figured, that finished. Oh, 
I'll have to figure out what to do with all of my extra resin once I'm uh, done making crystals. I'll probably go back to making D4s and other random, other random dice. The bubble in here. Um, okay, and this is looking, this is looking good. Push everything down again. And I think, I think we can put the lids on these. A few errant bubbles, but they're looking pretty good. Pretty good. Don't know what that voice was, but I'm just going to stand by it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I think we can. Yeah, we can put the lids on these. Alright. Kind of excited to see how these turn out. I feel like they might be nice. I'm going to put these on my tray like usual. And that's just be to collect any extra resin that may leak out. Alright. And I think I'm going to put this on my tray as well. My kind of test here. In case it leaks out some resin. Um, I'll put it far enough away from the dice that hopefully I shouldn't get any resin from them on it. Let's put that over here. Put that over in the corner. Let's put this down. Put that on. My my uh, my tray for putting dice in looks so so barren. You usually have that like stacked with stuff. Yeah, we'll put we'll put these on there too. It'll that'll make it look a little fuller. A little bit of green. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of uh, wrap things up for tonight because I think we're I think we're pretty much done. I need to go put these in the pressure pot. Um, thank you guys for stopping by. I'm glad everybody could come hang out. Uh, I do stream every Wednesday and Saturday. Well, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then Saturday at noon Pacific Standard Time. I must have the dice do both of them at 7, but I've, I've changed that. Um, so yeah, if you want to come hang out, that's when and where you can find me. Uh, I do also have a Discord, if you uh, ever want to check that out, um, which I can link. It's underneath my, it's, it's in my About section. Um, but I think that is pretty much it for tonight. So I will see you guys, hopefully on Saturday. Um, bye!